This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the focus Q. If you've been watching our last few videos, you've noticed that I'm making a few interesting tests using this system. The focus Q, if you go to hydrogentap.com, you can see some stills of it. And uh, I have a lot of explanations hooked to them. So if you go to hydrogentap.com or if you want to email me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com, I'm always interested in hearing from you. The last video, I hooked up the AC directly to the cell. You can see the two AC connections here. There are seven neutral plates, quote, neutral plates between the two electrodes and it produced absolutely nothing except heat, a lot of heat. It went to about 150 degrees which is very very unusual for this system. So what I'm going to do now is put the, pl put the electrodes closer together using the same AC and we're going to see what goes on with that. Okay, this is really interesting. What I'm showing you, I'll show you the voltage here. This is AC volt. 112. Okay. Now what I'm not showing you this is the uh, connection part that I've hooked my voltmeter across. As you can see it's going across all nine plates. But what I have the voltage on, or what I'm using connection on, oops, is not the nine plates. So you can see there's two skipped here then one of the electrodes and then there are th there are three neutral plates as we call them and then the other electrode and the last two are neutral itself so when I put this voltage across it when I put the meter across it watch what happens I'm actually reading 112 it's 112 volts across all the plates. It's 109 volts here on this configuration. And remember, I've got the voltage meter going across all nine plates.
And of course I just blew my circuit breaker here. So Do not try this at home, by the way. It's very, very dangerous putting AC or fooling with AC. Uh, so we've got the meter going from this plate here to the last plate over there, the ninth plate. With these plates here in between, the two electrodes are there. So you're actually getting voltage going outward which is more pronounced in the AC than it is on the DC. Got to think about this.